All right, welcome to No Brainer MMA. Coming off a great week last week, 12 out of 14, three out of four underdogs on the entire card. We're going to keep the momentum going. We're going to get right into this right now. Ryan Koski versus Blood Diamond. Third time's a charm for this fight here, and hopefully after two scrap fights, we finally get to see these two. Blood Diamond really didn't look good in his UFC debut. He's Adesanya's training partner, pro kickboxer. Doesn't really have technical striking, though. A lot of looping punches. Kind of throws from the hip, but he does hit very hard. Uh, very green to MMA, too. 3 and one pro record. He's not a spring chicken, 34 years old, so he's kind of late to the game to start, but um guys that transition later to MMA like that too I find there's especially from a strike like from a striker to a MMA fighter usually have trouble with the grappling that's like obvious and Blood Diamond did have trouble he was controlled for four minutes and 25 seconds of a four minute and 38 second fight Orion Koski contender series alum also made his UFC debut in his last time out he controlled Phil Rowe the entire first round, but ended up getting dropped and finished in the second. He's also a striker, very fast hands, powerful, get takedowns too as a brutal get, uh, ground and pounds. I, I think Orion Koski um, grapples with Blood Diamond early, wears on that gas tank, and I think he takes this one. Um, pretty confident in this first one too. So I'm going to go with Orion Koski. <laughs> 